It happens almost every time someone asks me about my major. Surprise on their face. And then there's the usual responses. There's the tried to be nice backhanded compliment responses. Like, oh, but you're so cute, or but you're so outgoing. As if a requirement to be in such a career was that you had to be ugly and stare at the floor when you met new people. And my personal favorite, no you're not. But indeed I am. I'm a girl and I'm an engineer. If the situation were reversed and a man was being asked about his major, no one would be surprised. In fact, at a university with over 7,000 engineering majors, people come to expect that answer. Why is that? Why are men expected to be the ones coding, designing bridges and skyscrapers, and innovating the world we live in? Why not women? Why is it such a shock when we hear that a completely normal woman is entering the male-dominated field of math and science? I don't believe it has to be this way. There's a reason that there are more men than women in engineering, and there's a simple way to fix it. It all begins when children are young. Boys are geared toward expanding their problem solving, spatial reasoning, and design skills as children when they are given blocks, Lincoln Logs, Legos, and modeled trains and cars. On the other hand, <laughs> girls are given tea party sets, doll houses, and baby dolls to nurture and take care of. And this is fine too, but for some girls, this just isn't enough. What about the girl who wants to do more, but she can't because her parents tell her that those toys are for boys? So the only way she can play with blocks or Legos is if she steals them from her brother. But what if she doesn't have a brother? What if she never gets to learn and develop interest in math and science? Doesn't she deserve the same opportunities as any boy? As much as I liked playing with Barbie dolls, it was also really important for me to play with things like cars and train sets. Luckily, I had parents that saw my interests early on and made sure that I always had Legos or even old-fashioned wooden blocks to remodel and add on to my dollhouse. Whenever someone got me a gift, it was always something like a tool set because they always wanted to fix everything just like my dad. I'm very grateful that my parents feel this creative, inventive side of me. Their support encouraged me to become an engineer. But that isn't the case for every little girl. If she grows up hearing that math is for boys and that girls are only supposed to be good at language arts classes, she may never sign up for a calculus class. And if her whole life she's told, let your brother use that computer, he understands it better than you do, she may never learn that she loves to code. If she comes home asking how things work and you assume it's too complicated and tell her she won't understand, eventually she's going to stop asking. And what happens when she stops asking? When that curiosity dies out, she's going to miss out on a lot. She's going to miss out on a whole field of knowledge that she could flourish and excel in. Favorite subject in school or a career she didn't know that was an option for her. And it's not just her that will miss out. What about the rest of the world? What are we gonna miss if she misses out? Think of all that might not happen if we do not encourage girls when they are young. A cure for diseases like Alzheimer's or cancer. A breakthrough in clean energy. A leap forward in our journey to send humans to Mars. New technologies to better predict natural disasters. There is so much going on in the world right now, so many opportunities for life-changing innovations and discoveries. The truth is, if she grows up thinking that science and engineering is only for boys, then she will not be the only one impacted. We will miss all of the things that she was told that she couldn't do, and that's just something that we can't afford. But we can fix this. All it takes is for us to realize that girls are more than just pretty faces.
Don't put her in a box. Tell her she is smart, she is ambitious, that she is creative, innovative, resourceful, and beautiful. Encourage her curiosity. Feed the scientist inside of her. Teach her to ask questions. Explore with her. Let her take apart her toys to see how they work. Buy her a set of Legos when she wants to play with the boy toys in her classroom. Let her reach her full potential. Give her that chance and she will never miss out.